Hey, I'm Albert from Muffin Group and from now on I will be making a video tutorials about the Bee Theme and the Bee Builder. If you have any feedback about this video or just want me to make a tutorial about something you don't know how to use, feel free to leave me a comment and I will do my best to help you. Ok, so let's move on to the topic. In this tutorial I would like to talk a little bit about the differences between the margin and offset in the Bee Builder on the example on the layout you actually see on my screen. What's the main difference and how to use both? When one would be better than other? These are the questions you ask sometimes and today I would like to clarify this topic a bit and I hope after this tutorial it would be a little easier to use both in your projects. Let's begin from the simple layout I've already made for this tutorial. I have two wraps, one is 2 fifth and the other is 2 fifth. In the first one I put two elements column text in which as an example I used large number 01 styled in the style typography tab and the image underneath. In a second wrap I have three items heading, column text with lorem ipsum and the button. The first thing I'm going to do is position both wraps centered relatively to each other to do that, just click somewhere in the section, it could be the left click or the right click and edit. And now in the advanced positioning tab, I'm gonna click center option. And now this is where the all magic happens. For my big label I've just set in the advanced dimensions tab, I'm gonna set inline width so that the element takes up as much space as there is content. Then, in a spacing tab, I will set minus 50% for the bottom margin. Thanks to this, it will move 50% of its height down. Now, edit the left wrap and in its advanced positioning tab, I'm gonna select the option to move all elements inside this wrap to the right side. The last thing I'm gonna do right now is go back to the uh, my big label and in its advanced positioning tab I'm gonna set offset position and move it to the right by setting up minus 35% as you probably noticed already margin moves the content after the element but the offset slide out an element without affecting the rest to align it more or less in the middle of the first wrap, in the advanced spacing tab of the right wrap, I'm gonna set 120 pixels for the top margin because 50% of my label still takes place, but I want it to be just my decoration. And also, I will set 15% for the left margin so it slightly increases the space between both wraps. When this is done, I have to deal with the indexes. In this case, my wraps are fine so I do not need to touch them, but for safety reasons, I will set for the left wrap in the advanced positioning tab Z index to 1 and for the right wrap it's gonna be Two. The larger number tells which wrap is more important, so the wrap with larger number will always overlap wrap with the lower number. Thanks to that, even if I will change the order of wraps in the future, my big label that I care about to be under all elements will be always under the elements of the wrap next to it. I hope that now the difference between the offset and the margin will be noticeable and you will know in which situation it is better to use the margin and in which the offset. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.